Hey there, me again. Well, three days in a row. Well, I probably won't do as many frequent videos as this moving forward, but I just thought I'd um, do this one now. Um, I'll just put a post up on my home office working site. So I said I'm trying to now improve the articles, put more articles on there, put the articles or videos up here as well. Um, and as this article is kind of a, a kind of one that I want to put together for a little while, I thought I'd share it with you. And what it is, it's to do, well, it's about my top three pick of code editors. So I've been a software developer or in the software development industry because I've, I've had numerous jobs throughout that time, but for 23 years, I said, I think I said 20 years now, it was 23 years now, so a long time. And uh, through that time, I've used quite a lot of tools. Um, I started developing under, well, put it this way, the first job I ever had, my machine was a Pentium 200 MX. Gives you an idea of how long ago it was. And we, in one of the jobs, we actually had a 486 delivering data in. So a long time ago, but I was editing mainly um, on or edit, developing mainly on Unix, uh, and I was using Vi as my code editor. So if if anybody doesn't know what Vi is, go and check it out. It's a very simple editor. Well, it's, it's, it actually has quite a lot of complex things that you could do, but you'd only like edit one file at a time, and you'd have to like, you could select multiple, or load multiple files to the command line, but then you'd have to like do a colon end to go next and so on. If I remember correctly, it's been quite a long time since I used it. But over that time, I started with Vi and I've, I've moved through numerous different languages. I've, I've been, I've developed on a lot of Unix and I've developed on Windows a number of times, including C++ and C Sharp on Windows. So, and I've, I've used other languages like Perl and Python and PHP and, and Java, JavaScript. I've used editors like Eclipse and a number of the different visual Studio tools starting with four all the way up through to like 2005, 2007, 2008, 2012, more recently 2019, 2019. Um, but yeah, anyway, so my top three pick. Now, my number one pick, and you can get me the article, I'll put a link to the article in the text below, but my number one link was Sublime. Sublime is something I've had for a few years now. Um, it's one of those editors that they say you can, there's no, no sort of end on the trial, so you can carry on trialing it for a for lifetime, really. But um, ideally, you you know, you pay for the license. I, I, got, I bought my license. I thought it was a fantastic tool. I thought, you know, they um, they do a great job. So I'd, I'd support them by paying, buying a license and moving off the evaluation one. Um, they've just included a, or created a, well, I don't know when it came up, but they've just added a Git tool and um, I, I installed the validation, valuation version myself yesterday. And I must admit, it's, it's much better than most of the ones I've used, even though one of the editors in, in this list, number three, has Git built into it. Um, but as a kind of a, um, a Git tool, it, it looks really good. So I might end up actually getting that license um, in, in the future if I can afford it. Anyway, so number one is Sublime. Um, it's just a very lightweight, easy to use it, uh, fully customizable in that you can add lots of plugins, um, syntax highlighting, all sorts of stuff. Really, really good tool. Um, been around for, for um, I think, go to the article, I think it was 2008 when it was first out. I've got the date in the article anyway, when it, when it first released. And it's grown obviously quite a lot since then. Um, I won't go into too much detail in this video about why it's my favourite, you know, but, but go and check the article out. Uh, number two is a tool called Notepad. Unlike Sublime, which you can use on Windows and Mac, I can't remember if you use, it's not Linux if I remember right, it's Windows and Mac, but Notepad is only on Windows. No, plus both of these tools have, have highlight syntax, uh, syntax highlighting for languages. Uh, and you know you can add some customization to Note++, plus but Note++ plus plus for me is more just a fantastic sort of note, note basically it's an extended notepad uh, only on Windows 
Um, but I love the fact that I can do some changes in there. I can edit some stuff in there uh, and not save the file. Um, like I can leave it as an unsaved, unnamed file. And then I can close the tool down, open it, and the tab's back there with all the changes in there. I use it more of a notepad more than code editor, but if I'm writing something really simple, I can better say JavaScript, and I've got that tool open, I'll use it. The third one on the list is, is quite a new one, uh, which is um, Microsoft Code. Now, Microsoft Code is it's not a cut-down version of the Visual Studio environment, but it's kind of like a, 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 a new, I think it's a free, if I remember rightly, version of the Visual Studio sort of environment. Um, again, brilliant uh, code. Is, it's more of an IDE than the other two. Um, and you can use that on Windows, Mac, and Linux. I have it over all three um, OSs. I have it on my Mac, I have it on my Windows machine, and I have it on Linux. And I uh, build uh, through it, and it's got Git, Git functionality and lots of other stuff in there. But again, go and read the article. I've got a little bit more detail in there. But yeah, those are my favorite three, top three code editors. I do like Eclipse. I do like Atom, but they didn't make it into the list. Um, Number one, number two, quite lightweight. Microsoft Code is a little bit heavier, but I feel it's still lightweight compared to the others, but it also has some extra functionality, which I just find really useful, like the ID building, debug, and all that kind of stuff. So if it, uh, Microsoft Code is definitely my go-to tool if I'm doing something a bit more complex in development. But anyway, go and check out the article. Um, if you're looking for any code editors to, to do development, then hopefully this, this article and this video has been useful. And uh, yeah, just keep watching. I'll put up some new videos uh, and hopefully some new articles on other stuff, all about kind of, you know, working from home tools uh, for working from home, free stuff, um, resources, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, just keep watching and hopefully you'll get some more useful stuff soon. Speak to you again soon. Bye for now.